believe hallelujah the windows of heaven is already open to our petition today hallelujah let's come into the lord in a word of prayer right now if there are some uh, list of prayer requests in at the usher table please run it here in the pulpit amen give it to me and we will bring it into the into the throne of the lord right now while we while we are in the spirit of the lord Jesus, we believe that if we ask anything in your name, believe and you shall receive it. That right now, oh God, we're claiming these people who needs today healing from your hands, oh God. Remember Jocelyn Joaquin, Father, she needs a negative result for her ultrasound tomorrow. We pray, Lord, that there will be a victory tomorrow. Undergo for this ultrasound examination. To Brother Jeb Martin, Lord, Binaubasa, Lord, praying for God's favor to shorten the verdict of the court this coming April 4 for his salvation, O oh God. Lord, I invoke your blessing upon Brother Jeb, O oh God. Remember him, Jesus. That this April 4, God, it will lessen, Lord, and shorten the verdict, Lord, upon his case. To Jennifer Taipan, God, your favor upon his, her niece, Lord, application going to work abroad in Taiwan, Thailand, Lord. Jesus, that this uh, application, this processing, it will become a smooth, O oh God, in the processing of his papers, O oh God. In Jesus' name, let your favor to be upon this prayer request, O oh Lord. Complete healing, Lord, upon my word, heavy hope from, from COVID virus, Lord. In Jesus' name, whatever needs today, God, you know him, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Bring healing upon his physical body. And we include Sister Lenny Tong. Healing Lord and restoration from vomiting and diarrhea. In Jesus name, O oh God. We rebuke that kind of virus, O oh God. That causes her to vomit, Lord. Hallelujah and loose bowel movement. In Jesus name, be healed right now. Be healed right now. To Maribel Almazan, Lord, for safe trouble, go back to Philippines. In Jesus' name, let your divine protection to be upon her. That even your people that are in this house today, whatever infirmities or sickness, Lord, that we suffer, God, we will go home blessed and healed today. We will receive a great victory, Lord God. As you have said, Lord, if you call your name, hallelujah, you will manifest, O oh God. And we will receive victory. We will receive salvation. We will receive revival, O oh God. We will receive restoration, O oh God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And we bring back to you glory, honor, thanksgiving. Everybody see, I love you, Jesus. I, everybody say amen. amen. Clap your hands for the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. What a presence of God in this house today. Hallelujah. And if you are blessed, amen, you may take your seat for a while. Thank you, Jesus. Before the word of the Lord, I would like to remind each, every one of us that this coming Wednesday, and that is a uh, institutory holiday, right? I pray that everybody will be able to attend our Youth Congress, amen, in New Life Fellowship, Min Campus. And we would like also to invite, because we are online, amen, our... Brethren from Fulton Campus, amen, you are invited also and you have a part in this uh, uh, occasion or event. And I would like to ask your complete support to this event this coming Wednesday, amen. Not only for your physical, amen, but of course there is an important thing that you need to extend also. Hallelujah. And yeah. Praise God, April 5, don't forget that in the morning time, we have our Bible games. 
So exercise our amen uh, what you call knowledge about the Bible. So please uh, be on time on Wednesday because uh, Sister Katrina has a lot of uh, uh, games that he need to do for the morning session. A morning time, I should say. And I don't know if there are some uh, prizes who will be the one to win the, this uh, Bible games. And also, mga kapatid, in the afternoon, don't forget, at 2 o'clock, we will have our evangelistic service. And may the Lord, our guest speaker, will arrive safe and sound tomorrow or on Tuesday. And that is uh, Pastor Glenn Dober Perez. Amen. is going to minister the word of the Lord in our service in the afternoon. So I would like also to remind, remind our unit coordinators. Amen. I know that you have a big part of this event. So alam niyo na yon. <laughs> alam na po ng ating mga leaders kung naipasa sa inyo, mga kapatid, yung message mula po sa ating pastor, mga pastors. So, salamat mga kapatid at ini-expect po natin that there will be a great, great revival. Amen. Phenomenum, extraordinary moving of God this coming Wednesday. And of course, today, we expect something more from the Lord. Amen. Are you ready to receive that today? At mag explode po tayo sa revival na ibibigay ng Diyos sa araw na ito. Amen. Hallelujah. So, I don't know if... Uh, okay, Sister Daisy, you ba? All coordinators practice. Amen. Practice song, ha? Hindi practice dance. After the service. Alright? So, lahat po ng coordinators at lahat ng participants sa special song na ito, amen, ay mahalaga kayo. Okay? So, as we honor the word of the Lord, thank you for our uh, guests. Thank you for coming. Alam ko na kahit nag-iisa siya, mga kapatid. The Bible said, there is joy in heaven over one sinner repented. So, sis, may piyesta sa langit dahil sa iyo. Alam mo ba yon? Sinabi yun ng Bible. Uh, there is a big celebration sa langit because of one single soul. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So you are so bl- uh, you are blessed today. Amen. Dahil uh, the, uh, kumbaga ikaw yung headline sa langit. Gusto niyo bang maging headline sa langit? Be worshiper. Amen. So shall we stand together as we come to the Lord? Amen. In this very moment, we will ask God for his uh, blessing and the Lord will use me one more time to deliver the word of the Lord today. Father, in Jesus' name, we come to you with our thanksgiving and supplication. We worship you, Lord, with all our heart. I pray that minister to your people and release one more time the power of your word to be the food of our soul today. I need your wisdom and knowledge, especially the double portion of your anointing in below my whole being, O God. Uh, we pray, Lord, that today that you will fulfill your promise. I, we have a single guest today, Lord. And I believe, God, hallelujah, I speak to her with your power, with your love, and with a plan of salvation. And even, even the bona fide members right now, God, every one of us, God, saturate with the power of your spirit. Hallelujah. Na para bang kami lalangoy sa presensya mo, Panginoon. In Jesus' name, we ask all these things. Everybody say amen. amen. Clap your hands one again, once again for God's glory. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen and amen. You may take your seat now. Praise God. Later we're going to read it to you, our scripture text. But I want to speak to you on this message. Do you believe that Prayer and worship is a vital part of our walk with God. Amen. This is a very important part. This is a very necessary part of our walk with God. Amen. But 
you know, it ought to be easy to worship God when we are in a good spiritual health. Right? But when you get in flu and your muscles, the muscles of your body is painful, you don't feel like tooking. You don't feel like walking or working as in nothing when you are sick. Spiritually speaking, when you are healthy, it is easy to walk with the Lord, right? It is easy to talk to Him and work for Him when you are in tune with God. But if we get sick spiritually, then worship is one of the first things that we don't feel like doing. Are you with me? Why? Because when you stop expressing our worship, it is the running nose of an incoming spiritual colds. Para bang sinisipon yung iyong pagpupuri sa Diyos. And that is the sign of something wrong that going on inside of you. Wala ka sa mood. But Apostle Paul admonished us this morning that in the book of Romans chapter 8, here we go, reading from verse 26, down to 28. The Bible said, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Everybody say infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we oath. But, here we go, the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Mm. And in 27, and he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And in 28, and we know that all things work together for good. To them that love God. That's why I'm asking you a while ago. Say, I love you, Jesus. Because it, this, this message, amen, is directly approaching you. To them. To them that love God. Amen. To them who are called according to to his purpose. The song says, if you call his name, he will manifest himself. If you worship him, he will manifest himself. If you seek him, he will manifest himself. To them who are called according to to his purpose, he will manifest himself. Because he knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit. Mm. So this afternoon, I would like to bring to you this message, a simple message, but just pass in your seatbelt. It will hit you. Maybe you will lose on your views later. And I want to preach to you in this title. Check your vital signs. I'm not a registered doctor. But I am a registered preacher. To speak to you about our vital signs. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to be checked? When we are in the Philippines recently, last month, 
I had a chance to talk to a registered nurse and that is Sister Cynthia's niece wife. Her name is uh, Welcome Guillermo. She is working before as a nurse in Singapore during the pandemic time. And I have a chance to ask her when a nurse check out your vital signs. Just what are they? She said, that there are three things for them to check. Number one, your pulse. Your heart rate. Kung yung heartbeat ba ng, 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 ng heart mo ay in love. Tugudug, tugudug, tugudug. Your pulse is important. Hello? May, may, mayroon pong uh, exact counting yan dito sa pulse natin. Amen? In a one minute, mayroon pong exact number na beat po ng pulse natin. Para makita nila if you have in a normal vital sign. Alright? And the second one is about your respiratory respiratory system. It talking about your breathing. Na kapag nag-arrive ka ba, mga kapatid, sa triad, eh, yung heart mo, mga kap- ay, yung, yung beat po ng, ng yung, ay, yung hininga mo, mga kapatid, eh, para kang may, you, you, you suffer like, uh, yung um, asthma. <laughs> Agal-al. Uh, malalim yun, ah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Nagagasping ka when you arrive in the triad. So one of the uh, signs, a vital sign mo ay makikita, they will find it in your breathing. Amen. And the number three is about your blood pressure. So uh, uh, this three, if any of this three is not normal and not just a jibe to each other, then someone in, it is in big trouble. Ha? Huh? Kapag uh, kumbaga sa Lucano aglulumbada. Iba yung pulse mo, iba yung heartbeat mo at yung hininga mo. Shall we say amen? Hindi regular, hindi tala, hindi niya jive sa bawat isa mga kapatid. Then someone is in big trouble. Amen. And somebody asked me and advised me, Pastor, can you you can find your blood pressure in your palm, right? Really? Okay, I try. And so, nag-upload ako mga kapatid ng pang blood pressure sa cellphone. Don't use the 3330. You cannot upload that. <laughs> uh, I use 3210, I should say. Uh, I use my cellphone, uh, S21 yata yon. So, very quick. So, in my phone, I have a couple of apps. One checks my blood pressure. And one checks my level of stress. Pwede rin, meron. Huh? If, you, if you upload that level of stress and then you scan your whole, your whole head. <laughs> and it will appear the, the exact number if you are stressed or not. There is a bracket. If you are beyond on, beyond on that uh, mark, I mean, you gauge niya, mga kapatid, if you uh, beyond 60, medyo candidate ka na uh, being stressful. Hello? Amen. Why? Why I'm talking about to you this? Because our vital sign are good indicators of what's going on inside our physical body. So you should know that. And well, church, this afternoon, I would like to clarify to you, that's what I, I have said a while ago, that prayer and worship are healthy responses to a healthy relationship with the Lord. Hello? Because if someone is not praying, if someone is not worshiping, it is a good indicator that something wrong in their spirit. 
Why? Because you are not here only to show up yourself. Hallelujah. To check your attendance. You are here to worship God. You are here to have a deeper communication of the, in the Lord through your prayer. Sige, palakpakan natin ang malakas ang Panginoon. There are li- literal thousands of books that written on worship explaining it and analyzing it but the bottom line is worship is not alike love in a marriage. The more you express it, the better you get it. Kaya every day kapag nagising kami ni Sir Sincha, lagi kong sinasabi, I love you. Yesterday, I have something to talk to her, to in- give an insight to her, and I am looking her in the church when I meet her at the mid- middle, of the, middle of the eye, and I will start to speak to her. I forgot what I'm saying. Nakabuelo na ako. Mga kapatid, yung mga sasabihin, itatanong ko sa niya, what's that? What? Ano yun? Ano yun? Wala, I love you na lang. <laughs> oh, pag wala ka lang masabi, yun, yun na lang ang pinaka-the best na masabi mo sa wife mo. The word, I love you. Because, hallelujah, if you do this, mga kapatid, you can find and you get on it. Everybody say Amen. But, I'm go back to my message. What good does just reading about prayer? What good that just reading about worship if we don't do it? If we don't practice it? Are you with me? Hallelujah. Church, we are Pentecostal believers. Are supposed to be the expert on prayer. Supposed to be the expert of worship. But how are you doing in your love life with the Lord? Kunti lang nagpalakpak. Talagang hindi talaga worship riyata ang new life at mga kapatid. Come on, ulitin ko ito. Prayer and worship is a good vital sign of what's going on in your spirit. Vital sign pa lang, mga kapatid. Nag-show up na. Talagang hindi talaga tayo worshiper. It ought to be easy to worship God when you are spiritually where you ought to be. Does that make sense? So prayer and worship are an outpouring of inner emotion. Because when God is number one in your life, when He is the most important, then one of the first things you cannot help but to do is to worship Him. Wala kang ibang maisip kundi ang sambahin siya. Kaya like yesterday, nalimutan ko lahat ang sasabihin ko kay Sister Cynthia. The only thing I remember is, I love you. The same as in, in the Lord. Kung wala kang masabi sa Panginoon, then you say, Lord, I love you! I love you, Lord! Just open your mouth and lift up your hands and let it flow out from your mouth to His ears. It is not difficult, church, to express yourself when you are in love in the Lord. Wala kang ang masabi. The only thing you know is, I love you, Jesus. Why? Romans 8.26 says, Likewise, the Spirit also helped our infirmities. 
For we know not what we should pray. For as we ought. But the Spirit itself. <laughs> he is making intercession for us. With groaning. Which cannot be uttered. <laughs> yes. We can all easily tell God what is wrong with us physically. With words if we have to. Lord, I don't feel good. Lord, my foot hurts. Lord, I have a headache. Lord, I'm sleepy during Pastor Librado's preaching. <laughs> but the word infirmities, Paul speaking is, it mentioned in verse 26, it is not a physical sickness, but it is a spiritual. It is not your physical body that suffering illness. It says sometimes we don't know how to pray about situation. Sometimes we cannot find the word to express ourselves when it comes to a spiritual sickness. So we just get on our knees in prayer and moan and groan and weep in the spirit. And mere physically word seems so inadequate when you are dealing with a spiritual matter. So you just let the Holy Ghost in you say whatever it wants. Because he is interceding now into your human spirit. You might moan. You might speak in tongues. You might even admit right out loud, God, I don't know what to say. You have to help me. And guess what? He will, but you have to allow it to happen in your life. Everybody say amen. amen. Because when the Holy Ghost moves inside of you, I will tell you, you can feel freedom. You boy, you can feel the liberty. Despite of your infirmities, despite of your flaws, when God moves, you can feel the real freedom. Three seventeen says in Second Corinthians, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is what? There is liberty. Woo! Liberty, do what, Pastor? To express yourself. Just only open up and express yourself with whatever comes out. But I would like to tell you, wala kang ibang masabi kundi I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Come on. Can, if you love Him right now, come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Worship Him and clap your hands for His glory. When someone is praying to receive the Holy Ghost, for the first time, I might whisper in their ears that they won't understand what they are saying. But God does. Hello? Because He understands all the language. So just let those unlearned words come out. And trust God. He understands what you are saying. I-release mo lang sarili mo. Huwag kang maglagay ng boundary, Lord. Huwag, huwag masyado. Masira yung herdo ko. Huwag masyado, Lord. I don't want to scream. I, want, I don't want to become messy after the service. But the Bible said, quench not the spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Whatever they say to you, ano man ang sabihin natin, do not quench the Holy Ghost. Let your, hallelujah, worship explode. Let your praise explode. 
do not quench the spirit. That's why when the Holy Ghost is saying to you, shout, and your flesh say no, you just quench the spirit. Gusto ng Diyos na ma-revive ka kahit nasa corner ka. Pero pag ikaw ay nag-PPT party dyan, walang mangyayari. Walang mangyayari kung mag-emote, emote ka dyan sa corner. Get out from your box. Get out from your comfort zone. Do not quench the Holy Ghost. The purpose you are here is to worship the Lord. A spirit says to witness to someone in your flesh says, oh I can't. You are quenching the spirit. A spirit says to run and to say, no way. You are quenching the spirit. A spirit says, clap your hands and shout and say, don't want to. You are quenching the spirit. The Holy Ghost says, speak in tongues or give the interpretation or prophecy and you say, oh, I am afraid. You are quenching the spirit. And one, one of your vital signs is off. Are you with me? But when you are spiritually in tune with God, then your vital signs are going to show up in how you worship Him no matter what they say. Hallelujah. I don't care if you look at me full and crazy, but I know I am living in the Spirit of God. I don't want to quench the Spirit of God. I want to lift aloud my voice. Hallelujah and worship God. That's why we shout. That's why we clap and run around the sanctuary. Because our vital signs are saying me and Jesus is okay. But if you're not okay in me, then I know me and my God is okay. Because words cannot always express the feeling we have inside. We love him so much. And we cannot always express it. So instead of our bodies react by running, by clapping our hands and jumping and shouting and speaking in tongues, my word is enough. Everybody say praise the Lord. And sometimes, you know, our growth class a while ago is a very interesting lesson yeah. in our life. Amen. And I will trying to, we're trying to reproduce the whole series of the teaching. I think we will take that two to three months lesson. Amen. Because that is related to our team in our faith promise. Now the harvest. But how can we do the harvest if we're not going to be cultivated first in our personal life? So sit in in the growth class so that you might learn what is the due process, the right process. And here we go. The reason why it's hard and sometimes it's so difficult to get a real revival in the church because we are all now captured by this modern technology. Our mind is not really set on the spiritual things. I have a video clip during the choir singing in this pulpit. I've seen their heart that giving totally to the Lord with worship. But look at what the congregation responds. They are not worshiping. 
Give me the last uh, slide, sister. Spinaka mababa. I slide mo yung, yung yung. That's what happened. Look at what happened in your life today. I'm sorry to say this. But is this a real thing? At ha- it is, is exactly what happened during, during the choir singing. The congregation is not worshiping. They are busy holding their cell phones. So where is now the heart of worship? We lost the heart of worship. So there is something up in the congregation. Even the choir singing with all their heart, giving their best. But somebody, most every one of you, are look at the cell phone that hanging up. This is just only the middle part. How about the left part, the side, the, the side, other side part? Count the people who are busy getting their own video and they are not worshiping. That's right. Hello? We cannot deny that. Where is the real worship of new life? Where is the heart of worship? Our mind is already captured by the modern technology. I'm not intent to hurt you. But I'm just telling you the exact happening in this modern world. The choir giving their best. But how about the recipient of the message? There is something off sa ating vital sign. The very heart of worship is absent. Kaya minsan, ang hirap i-drive ang revival sa altar. Kasi all our mind are captured by the modern technology in this world. And we are not really cultivated as far as worship in, is concerned. Church, there is still a time. Nire-rebuke tayo ng Diyos. In, oh boy, not only the world watching us because that is online. Hallelujah. Even heaven watching New Life Fellowship. What happened to my people in Shetong Choy? They are all now captured their mind. And there's no such a heart of worship that I feel. Wake up, new life. You know yourself. Wala na yung real revival. Wala na mga kapatid. It's supposed to be we are the Pentecostal people are expert into that things. But what happened today? Back to the square one. Back to the square one. Repent. Nakakaya, napapanood tayo ng mundo. Halabashi karasaka. We cannot hide that, Lord. Church in the Lord. Because when you go into the doctors and you get your vital sign checked out, you cannot hide your vital signs. You cannot just say, well, I don't have the doctor to check my pulse. So I'm going to make my heart quiet beating while I'm in his clinic. You cannot do that. Na hold mo yung breathing mo. Doc, I'm okay. You can't make your heart quiet 
or your breathing to stop very long. What is inside has to come out one form to another. Shall we say amen? But when you are in love with Jesus, it will come out. It will show up in one form to another. Because worship is the driving force that flows from deep within us. Shall we say amen? Hindi na kailangang i-force ang new life. It's like the live stream and bubbling water down in the earth. It has no fire. It has to find out an outlet to spout forth on the surface. Yan ang revival na nawala sa new life. Pag may event, kanya-kanya na ng cellphone na mag-raise up. Nag-expect tayo, nag-pray tayo ng revival. Pero tayo ang sumira sa revival. Gusto nating may pagkilos ang Diyos. But we ruin the revival because you are, hallelujah, cult captivated by the modern technology. I like your silent. And I know it's really true. But always bear in your mind that our worship is a very vital driving force that flows from deep within us. When I was in the new in the Lord, new in the Lord, we used to sing a song until now. It's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's bubbling in my soul and singing and shouting. Jesus makes me whole. But some people don't understand it. But there's one thing I know it's bubbling. It's bubbling. It's bubbling in my soul. Oh, check your vital sign this afternoon. How your relationship with Jesus? How's that worship coming along into your life? You just cannot help but to do it. And the more you do it, the better it becomes. It's not, it's not a performance church or a band of going through the motion, but it flows from inside of you. Hindi kailangang ipos ka para ma-revive ka. Lalabas yan sa puso mo. Lalabas yan sa bibig mo. Parang stream lang na magbubbling, bubbling. At it can find a surface, hallelujah, to explode. Kaya sometimes we cannot control the power of God. Amen. Even in our lips, in our hands, we are screaming like a crazy person. But hallelujah, no matter as long the spirit flows in my heart. So you need to check your vital sign. If there is a part of your spiritual life are up, it's time to reopen. Do not quench the spirit of God. That God put it into you. Share it to someone. If you don't have anyone else to hug, hug me. And not kissing. Hello. Because love is not just only a hug and kissing. True love express itself by sacrificing. Worship is sacrificing. Pero kung nandyan ka lang na para kang statue, uwi ka na lang. Sayang yung shampoo mo. Sayang yung sabon mo. But don't waste this day that you will be blessed by God. (laughs) 
Just call he upon his name. And he will manifest. Just worship him. And he will manifest. Just seek him. He will manifest. Hahanap yan mga kapatid ng lugar sa buhay mo. So ibigay mo lahat Lord kung mag move ka sa aking hands then let it be. If you move in my whole being then let it be. I give it to you Lord because I love you. Oh. Because true worship to God will express itself in some outward and form eventually. You just cannot keep it inside church. It is impossible when you truly love the Lord. Hindi magistak iyan sa loob. Lalabas yan. At meron pong greater more revival na gagawin ang Diyos sa buhay mo. Ah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I believe that Jesus had shown his love for us in so many ways. Check your vital sign this afternoon. How are you at showing your love for him today? Clapping your hands? Shouting, dancing in the aisles. And we won't produce worship church. But the love you have deep down inside of you will produce it. And it will come out like a volcano. And erupting when the Holy Ghost move in the service. It's been called a mighty rushing wind. It's been called the spring of living waters. <laughs> It's been called the fire in our bones. <laughs> But the bottom line is, it is called worship. It is called worship. It is called worship. I know there is a spiritual doctor no other than the Lord going around you and he is holding his spiritual stethoscope and he's trying to dip, uh, put his stethoscope in at your back. Sis, something went wrong inside of you. Check your vital sign. Hello. Pag nandyan ka, pinagpawisan na ako, nagrabing kakapritz, pero andyan ka pa rin ako. Check your vital sign. Merong naka-off sa part ng iyong spiritual. <laughs> Hallelujah. Kailangan mong magpa-CT scan. <laughs> Kailangan mong mag-undergo sa X-ray. Hallelujah. Kailangan mo ng vitamin of worship. Kail oh boy. Hallelujah. To rejuvenate you again. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the explosion of the Holy Ghost today. Oh, this is not a fifth Sunday, but the same God working in a fifth Sunday, in a first Sunday. We have only one God to pour out His fire in our life. I'm about to close. But you need to understand this church. Worship is about a relationship between man and his God. That's worship. But praise, brother Jim, can be taught. Even our kids will watch us and mimic us with their praise. But worship is not just going through the motion. No. Or flowing a learned set of moves or choreography. But true worship flows from within and express itself outwardly. Amen. Pwede kang gumaya sa mga nagpipraise. Pero worship, you cannot copy. 
Because in your personal, you can feel it. It comes inside of you and it comes outwardly. That's why our praise bring us into God's presence. But our worship, what we do when we get there. Our praise is like calling up to Jesus for a date. But worship is giving Him our love when we arrive. Are you with me? So alam na natin ngayon ang gagawin natin. As a group, we sing a song. We sing praise. But when you start to feel God, then you begin to worship Him on one-to-one -one basis. Because He is not only an on-time God, but He is one-on-one -on -one God. Go to work out your own salvation and experience with the Lord. Everybody say praise the Lord. So if you need the Holy Ghost this afternoon, you can come up here and praise Him until you pass out. You can sing songs, you can say words and pretty prayers and it will make you feel good. But somewhere... On that journey, you need to worship Him to be filled with Him. Amen. If there ever was a need for churches of all faith across Asia, it's not far more praise but more worship. More worship. Because there are some awesome, awesome song writers <coughs> that are not even Holy Ghost filled. But there is a difference, church. A big difference in how someone sings the song once they have been filled with the Holy Ghost goes beyond talent into a relationship. So you and I can see that on this very platform, in this very platform, our musicians and singers are not up here performing you and me. They are worshiping. So go on a one-to-one -one basis and you can feel the anointing of the Lord. Can we stand up right now? You must go deeper than mere praise, church. We must check the vital signs of deep worship. What's going under the surface. Because worship occurs when our little spirit make contact to the big spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh God, yamo sakaraya mahakataya. Oh, come on, new life. I said I'm asking you this afternoon. Check your spiritual vital signs and see how much you are in love with God. And then gather around this altar and worship Him. Express yourself to Him. You can only experience the real revival when your vital son is okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's get out of the hallways of your fears. Hallelujah. Oh, praise. And move into the inner big chamber of worship. Come on, get out! And move into the inner big chamber of 
worship. Not only feel it in your heart, but express it now. Woo! This is it. This is it, new life. Quench not the spirit. Pag sinasabihan ka ng Holy Ghost, come, come close to the altar. Hallelujah. Quench not the spirit of God. Release yourself. Hallelujah. Come on, there are a lot of vacant place in the altar. Can we join together? Can we join together? And together we will worship God. Mm. Come on, let's get out in your views. Move, move into the inner breath chamber of worship. Oh, come on, hallelujah. Come on, come on. Hallelujah, it's time for you to release. Hallelujah, don't think about your neighbor. Do not think about who people around you. Think about between you and God. Because worship is one in one basis. Ikaw at ang Diyos, you know how to worship Him. Come on, new life. Experience the real fire of God. Experience the real Holy Ghost. Come on, express. Express yourself. I tell you, come on. Inilis mo ako anong nasa loob mo. Express mo yan. Come on! Kakalaga ng Diyos ang totoong apoy ng revival! Kakalaga ng Diyos ang totoong Holy Ghost explosion!